All right, today hopefully we're going to install a saltwater washdown pump in our 22-foot TRS Pathfinder. Um, we chose in a spot down by the bait pump to pull off the tap off of the bait well pump. And we're going to mount the washdown pump next to the bait well pump approximately right there. And... Um, Hopefully it works well for us. We're gonna see. All right, so I cut a piece of half inch PVC board uh, to fit the pump on top of the pump like this. I also cut a little return for the PVC board and, and I uh, took a disc grinder and I put a little angle on the, on the return piece to match the angle of the hole. So that's going to sit on there like that. We're going to glue it together and uh, drill the mounting holes for the saltwater washdown pump and then glue it with 5200 to the hole. All right, so we're just taking standard PVC glue. It's like, like that. We're just going to put the PVC glue on to the bottom of the board and glue it just like that. We'll probably let it sit for about four or five minutes, make sure it's 100% dry. While the glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and Set the washdown pump on the board. Square it off. And I'm going to use my voltage tester and mark out my mounting holes. So I purchased some stainless steel hardware to mount the washdown pump. I think 3 16 will, will work, yes. So we're going to take a 3 16 drill bit, drill our holes. Hopefully not drill a hole in the boat. Mm -hmm. I like to take a countersink bit and chamfer, chamfer the holes. This is the washdown pump that we're using today. It's uh, 5.2 5 gallons per minute, but more importantly, it um, has 70 pounds of pressure, so it should give us a good, good washdown. All right, so let's assemble our pump. Okay, so we're getting ready to 
install our wash down pump the I cut the wires apart they um, they need to be cleaned up a little bit so we're just gonna loop the wires back get it flush with the motor these are flush cut pliers cut that off All right, let's give it a test fit. Okay, so that looks good. Let me, let me get this. Let me get this off. Okay, so we're gonna take the the we're gonna get the water from the live well pump. It has a plug already pre-made on it, which is very convenient to the inlet side of the saltwater wash down. The discharge side is going to come through the hole. So let's go ahead and test fit our fittings. So this is the fitting that's half inch pipe thread to three quarter inch hose. And that screws right into the, to the, Life bait pump like that. So we're gonna give it, we're gonna give it a wrap of Teflon tape. You want to go with the threads. Like that. We're also gonna put the thread sealant on there. Is for a three quarter inch hose. Show me that again. Here. So this, this. I see that piece. So that that goes in, and then snaps. Oh, snap right in. Does that piece come with the kit? Comes with the pump. This 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 piece just came with the pump, okay. and that snaps right in just like that. in like that that snaps in like that okay so let's go did this piece also come with the pump no we have you have to buy that mm -hmm. so that's half inch pipe thread to three for a three quarter inch pipe next step is let's pre-cut the hose That's gonna go right there. Now we're gonna mount the outlet side of the pump hose and the the hose fitting bulkhead. Okay, so now we're gonna run the discharge hose. I'm thinking right about there. Yeah. 
I think that looks good like that. All right, let's put our hose clamps on. Then we can glue our pump base down, let it dry, then make up the electrical. All right, I'm gonna put some tape on there. Hopefully keep the 5200 from going everywhere. That's that, that's that, that's that. Okay. 5200. Here it sits. Okay, and we're gonna let it sit and sit and dry. And we're gonna let it dry for 15 minutes, as per the instructions. All right, so now we're gonna lay out for where the hose connects to the pump. So this is what comes with the with the pump, and your hose connects to there, but unfortunately. It will stick out from the bulkhead and to me we'll hit it or run into it so we're gonna option for the flush mount kit so this this goes flush to the bulkhead and it has oh here it is and then it has the quick connect for the hose. So it just, to me that's a little bit more convenient. So what I did was I came off of this, this line for my center line. I measured where the top hole is there and then measured to the center for the center of the cutout. I have an inch and a half hole saw. Hopefully we do this once and Always checking back to make sure you're not gonna hit anything. I have a nice flat surface in the back. Off. Hopefully it fits. Oh, how'd that happen? It Perfect. fit. I'm not supposed to do that. Perfect fit. All right, so there's that. There's where my hole goes. Sink.
All right, so now we're going to put the barb adapter, hose barb adapter. Like that. Looks good. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, fifty two hundred. I wish I had flathead screws, but that'll be another trip to the hardware store to replace these with flathead screws. But we'll get everything mounted and it'll be easy to switch over. We have our butt splice connectors for the electrical hookup. These are the heat shrink. These are the crimpers for the heat shrink tubing. They have color coded. So we have blue connectors. We're gonna use the middle blue crimping die. We have our light hooked up to the negative side of the, of the battery. There we go. All right, let's test it. All right. Sort of their connections for there. So these are our wires coming from the from the pump. Our red is the positive coming from the pump. Our brown and green were the positive coming from the switch. Good. Let's see if our pump runs. Test our electrical connections. All right. All we got to do is heat shrink our our ends and fit the wires back in the loom and let the 5200 continue to dry. Now we need to heat shrink our connectors. 